talking about this bad boy. The Wyco Command Control Joystick for the Atari 2600. This is, as you can see, quite a big boy here. Um, it's made by the company Wyco. You see it down there. Wyco Command Control. And from what I've heard, Wyco originally created, um, made arcade uh, joysticks. So I'm guessing what they did was they took their experience with those arcade um, cabinets or whatever and used it for consoles, for home consoles. And that's what you're seeing right here is the product of that. Or that's just what I surmise. Anyway, this is what we got. This is. As you can see, if you know anything about the Atari 2600 joystick, the original one, this is a lot bigger. Um, as you can see, it's very differently colored. It's, it's got kind of a nice um, aesthetic to it. It's very solid, very um, hefty. But um, it's very tall as well, so really, really heavy duty right here. And first thing you'll notice, the first difference is there's two buttons. There's one at the top of the stick one down on the base. So there's an interesting feature here. I believe that this switch makes it, if it's all over here on the left, it'll only register this one. The game will only pick up that button. Well, if it's over here, you can push the top button too. So my thoughts on this is, um, it's it's okay. I'm, I like using this thing mostly um, for spaceship games like Defender per se, shooters like that where you're kind of flying around or if you're like flying a plane it's one of those uh, first person kind of flight simulator type games for the Atari um, but for platformers I am not crazy about this honestly if you're gonna play Atari 2600 most of the time the original Atari controller is your best bet but this is an interesting um, interesting idea. It's a bit expensive, as I remember. I haven't checked lately, but um, I believe it runs around like 20 to 30 bucks. But uh, also, it has a bit of a short cable. It's like, I don't know, maybe four or five feet, four and a half feet, I would guess. So it's not super long, but you can get Atari 2600 extension cords for not expensive at all. I don't think. So anyway, I hope this has been insightful. If you're looking to get one of these, then I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's a very nice, solid, well-made controller. In no way is it poor quality. It's actually one of the better quality Atari 2600 controllers out there. But, um, yeah, just um, those are my thoughts, and I hope you enjoyed this short video.